of you for being here. Uh, this, is, this part of the event seems to get bigger and bigger every year, uh, and that's wonderful to see. Um, kind of a realization that I came to in the last couple of weeks, are we are a tiny little community, but if you look at many things that they look at for communities per capita, we are probably one of the largest art communities in California, certainly in Southern California per capita. When you figure how many artists we have, how many art events that we have, and what a saturation of the arts exists on this hill. So, thank you for being a part of that, and thank you for being here tonight. Can everyone hear me? Yep. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> you stay after school. Um, I have a I have a prepared introduction that I've been given for Faryat, and then I'm going to go off the cuff just for a couple seconds afterwards. Um, Farid's passion for painting began when he was a young boy. He hosted his first exhibition with 36 paintings when he was just 12 years old, and he hasn't put the brush down since. He grew up painting the beaches, people, and rainforests of his home, the Caribbean island of Trinidad. This established the foundation for Farid to develop his skills as an artist. Farid left Trinidad when he was awarded an art scholarship to Syracuse University in New York. After two years, he dropped out and bounced around to different schools while constantly honing his craft. His greatest education came from painting on the streets of Los Angeles. Fari had sold his wildland images to everybody he met, the rich, the poor, and the indifferent. He feels privileged to have made a living as an artist and has won numerous accolades for his work. Fari now spends most of his time at the Parish Pioneer Ranch in the San Bernardino, Bernardino Mountains of California. He paints the people, the places, and the things he sees in Oak Glade, California where his gallery is located. As you will see during tonight's presentation, Faria tries to expose the image with deliberate and rhythmic brushwork and a mesh of thick and thin paint to try and capture the life and feeling of what he is seeing. As the winner of multiple Idlewild Plain Air Festivals, including last year's event, and our 2013 Artist of the Year, it is my pleasure to introduce Faria. With that aside, I have to throw in my own two cents because we have known Farid and Jennifer, his wife Jennifer, for about six years now. We stumbled into their gallery in Oak Glen, saw their work, realized, oh my God, this has to be in Idlewild. Uh, and over time, gradually convinced them to let us show a few pieces of their work. I think we originally had six pieces. Now we probably have upwards of 30, maybe, probably between 30 and 40 pieces. And he has won the plein air competition for the last three years, which is why last year he announced when he won for the third time that he would not compete this year. Uh, <laughs> give somebody else a chance to get that. Um, but he did offer to come back and spend the evening with us and show us some of, of his little tips and maybe a couple secrets. Uh, it has been a pleasure watching him develop, too, because in the six years that we've known him, his style has changed dramatically. Uh, as he is evolving as an artist, which goes to show you that you never stop learning uh, and you never stop changing. So, with that aside, um, I would like to introduce Faryat. Thank you, your paint. If you don't know how to use your brush, it's as bad as you don't know how to paint. So, I'm kind of playing again, kind of watching my composition here, I'm thinking. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm thinking with my eye. And I'm putting it in. So I think I got I think I got it. I think this probably can work. It's probably gonna work. I think my lines might be okay. I could be wrong on the chair. But... How we live, everything is so uh, image conscious. You know what I mean? Um, that we're different impressionists today.
I'm trying to block in all my, my chip. And I'm basically just trying to get shapes going. Um, most of my paintings, I think they're abstract really because they're based on shape. I've gone to a softer brush because I gotta get a little serious. And now I got a lot of paint. You wanna get a lot of paint on your canvas. Tomorrow when you go paint, those guys who are going out, you wanna get a lot of paint on your canvas because now you can, now it's painting. You know, before it was uh, blocking it. Now it's painting. So you get a lot of paint on your canvas and you can go in on it now and design the image the way you want it, you like to see it. So I'm trying to set up my chair. Uh, one of the biggest things too is squinting. Uh, when somebody says you have to see like an artist sees, um, an artist squints. That's why the Chinese painters are so good. <laughs> Stop. That's why they're so good. Because they're born that way. You know? The rest of us gotta squint. But squinting is a big part of, uh, of Funny guy. If you didn't know that the Chinese painters in America are really taking America by storm. Some of the best artists like Miyansi too. They are Russian influence. Russian Impressionism is some of the greatest Impressionism on the planet. And these guys, like me, are uh, trained under those people. Went to those schools. So it's, uh, I know we think of Russian, all the bad things that came out of there, but <laughs> well, see, there's always some good thing everywhere. I feel like the world loses something. But you have to become a real artist, you have to... That's why I don't judge shows, no disrespect to judges, but that's why I don't judge shows. I believe in the people. I painted in front of the people for many years. I still do, with you too. But I believe in people. And I like... I just paint it in the street, whatever it takes, whatever, I paint anything. There's times when <coughs> I say when I'm doing so many pet portraits, I go, well, the painting's gone to the dog or You keep, you just have to keep doing it to get it, you know what I mean? But I love brush strokes, basically. So for me, brush strokes is everything. Then you got Thomas. Oh, hey, uh, 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 uh,